Andre, how's it going, man? Good, thanks. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. It's a nice Sunday morning. Where are you calling from? I'm in Toronto. Oh, you're in Toronto. Okay. You're in the really nice part of North America. <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain, for sure. <laughs> I love Canada. Do you? Have you been here oh, a few I times? No, I've been to Toronto once, but I've been to Vancouver a, a good few times. I just love it. Canadians are just magic. <laughs> We try. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, Max is uh, one of the most unique characters on this show. And I, I the whole vibe you bring to him is amazing. Uh, the first thing I want to know is there's there's this vibe going on with, with some characters in particular, I would say. Um, can you speak to whether you prepped for some of these scenes beforehand or was it all just magic once you're shooting i guess i guess um i guess it's not my first rodeo i've done it before and so i think with doing certain scenes like you just put on your your professional actor's hat and then you kind of just go and it's just as being as open and then an honest and as transparent as you possibly can and if you trust the director and you trust the other actor and you trust the, the showrunner, then I mean, you're cooking with gas. You know, it's it's a great recipe for success. It's it's wonderful seeing there. There's a mood, I guess, watching you play him. It's like watching the fox in the hen house or something. It seems like he's always <laughs> watching for the next thing he's about to go after, or the next person, maybe. Uh, you know, where did you did you channel that from somewhere? How do you how do you get into that mood? Um well for me, honestly, and the minute I kind of get the physicality down, then it all kind of just like comes forth. I think that's like a really, really good for me that that work that helps to get the way he stands, get the way he sits, get the way he leans, get the way he looks. And I think once I can like really embody that, everything kind of just like falls into place. Um, and I always, I always have Max as if he's always got like a, he's always got like a joke, a secret or a joke at the back of his head that, that he knows about someone or whoever he's talking to. Um, and I think that that creates a, a really fun, interesting, mysterious, but also very, Anyway, mysterious, but also let you know what's going on. I, I totally know what you're saying, because he, I guess the thing that amazes me about the way you're playing him is that it, it seems so effortless. It, I mean, is it effortless? Do you, do you just walk into this character or how did you, how much time do you spend getting ready? Well, I had time. We were meant to film in April, but then we had like four or five, six months. Um, in quarantine so I, I just had so much time to like really like get the character down and I mean at the start I would take I'd take a while to kind of again like just get into my body get into the physicality of it <laughs> let go of all the tension and stuff and kind of get that cheeky cheeky thing that's in me get that warmed up um but now it's it, now after you play a character for so long, you just kind of like settle into it, and you kind of know you really you really embody embody him. Um, and I have so much fun playing him. He seems like a fun character to play. Did you? Yeah. Do you see him like? Does he see himself as a good guy, or do you think he knows that he's this kind of sly guy? I think he sees himself as an honest guy. I think and what I mean by that is he's honest with himself. And so good and bad kind of is very relative to Max. Well, it's relative in an existential sense anyway, but for him, that is very, very relative and it kind of doesn't matter. I think as long as he's being as honest with himself and what he wants and who he is, that's all that matters. Where do you see him in part of this group? Because they all seem to have their kind of part to play together, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think he's definitely there. His presence is there. Um, he's a kind of like the fun auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> at the wedding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think he is is ever so slightly detached from from the from the drama of it. I mean, you watch the episode and you see it tough and rubbish, but from the idea is from the from the kind of the mundane drama of kind of like a, a friendship group. He kind of detaches himself from that, but he, he's there for the fun. He's there for the kind of to be the shoulder to cry on or to have a shoulder to cry on. Um, whereas I feel like everyone else is very, very involved. So how would you describe his relationship uh, that you can talk about with Aki this this first the first two episodes, I guess. What how would you describe it? Uh and I describe from what well, point. I mean, what do you think interests him about him? What what do you think draws them together? What do you think interests Max, Max in, Aki? in Aki? I think I, I don't know. I mean, I think that it's another opportunity for Max to experience something new. This is his friend for years. He's going out. He's dating his friend also. I don't know. It's just like another spice. It's another fun, exciting adventure for Max to to indulge in and to have fun in. And yeah, I mean, I always say he's, very, he's always, always about the experience of things, always about expanding and experiencing new things. Uh, and so this is just another opportunity for Max to do that. And is that the same answer, I guess, you'd give with the fact that they're Aki and Audrey as well? Like, where does Audrey fit into all this? You'll need to, you'll need to tune in on <laughs> HBO Max on Thursdays. <laughs> That that's probably the right answer. <laughs> um, you know, in terms of you guys together, do you have a favorite scene partner? I know that's that's always a tough question, but I'm curious. Do you is there someone that you you had a favorite scene with this? What you filmed so far? I loved working with uh, Jason. I really love working with Jason. I love working with everyone. Like honestly, there's not no one that I would I don't want to work with. Um, I did. I had. I really connected with Jason. And I had a lot of fun. That's cool. Was there was there a particular scene you can talk about that was a favorite, no. or just in general? <laughs> <laughs> just in general. You'll see. You'll, you'll see. What I'm you'll be like, ah, oh, I enjoyed it. <laughs> in terms of, you know, what's the vibe like when you guys aren't shooting? Is there, you know? Are you guys just hanging out? Do you have time to hang out, or what's it like? Yeah, I mean, like with the show coming out, everyone's like so much more busy now, going to like doing events and doing this and doing that and all the rest. Of it. So everyone is busy. Um, but yeah, we do we do see each other, and I I bike uh, bike around with Eli quite a lot. <laughs> um, and we're in Manhattan the other day actually biking terrifying experience and yeah I'll hang out with Evan and I was with Savannah and I on the other day so yeah we didn't see each other are you uh are you, are you learning to skateboard with Evan or <laughs> do you know he would disown me the friend me and, it, me and Eli were gonna buy some skateboards and because he's like a skateboard and he's like cool and he's always like cool skateboarder friends me and Eli were gonna rock up to the skate park and just embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, so that's another question here. You know, what are you doing with your free time when you're these days when you're not, you know, shooting a show like Gossip Girl? Just chilling, just chilling out, just hang out with friends and my girlfriend, play some Fortnite, uh, go work out. And um, rock climb, read, party, just chill, just really, really chill. I mean, cause like when I'm work, when I'm on, I'm on, and uh, 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 there's there's so much going on right now, you know. So when I when I have time off, I just 
explain, not do anything. That seems like a good uh, a good thing everyone can learn. <laughs> yeah, we're so obsessed with like doing stuff, and I'm like, whoa, just fucking chill out. What uh, I'm curious, like, what are your next plans? Like, I'm sure this takes up a certain amount of time now. Do you have other stuff coming down the line? Yeah, so we finished filming in. I think we finished filming end of August, start of September. And I'm meant to be going to the Dominican Republic to shoot a psychological thriller in the Dominican Republic. A movie with Nell Tiger Free, do you know her? She's yeah. yeah. Of, um, so she's, we're going to be doing that together. So yeah, I'll be excited. Do you have a I favorite think, genre? Not, I, of, of film, I... I love I love comedy films. I think they're so funny. Dark comedy. I love thrillers. I hate horror movies. Hate them. Don't understand why anyone would watch them. I'm anxious enough as it is. I don't need to put myself through it. Um, and I also like I love films like Nebraska. I don't know what that genre would be, but kind of that very very real intimate you hear the wind like i love that that type of film awesome well thank you very much for the time it was a pleasure chatting your character you is too, fantastic thank you man i appreciate that i hope you enjoy the rest of the season thank you very much have a great day all right boss you too man